one stock which is causing us concern in that um, uh, technology area, Fang Plus area, is Tesla. Now Tesla has gone up a lot, since, particularly since uh, it bottomed out in May. Powered ahead, broke through some significant resistance levels. We've got some uh, now support levels close to us here now, it's got to be said, but we've got some resistance ahead, significant resistance resistance ahead at 312. But my concern is with the divergences we're seeing here. We're not seeing this in, in other uh, stocks in the sector or the sector itself or the NASDAQ itself with any a decline like this going on in the MACD. This is quite a worry. This tells you this area here is losing momentum. We see it also in the RSI high lower high warning we're going up yes we're at a new recent high but the best levels uh, since uh, october but we're losing momentum as we approach very significant resistance just a glance at how significant that re resistance is at 312 one two three tops uh, there so i think it's slowing up in its approach to it i'd be quite wary of t tesla at this level a worry too is Netflix. It's approaching considerable and stiff resistance, which starts at at a five, really four six five low. We plunge through it, and then we're approaching it here and now. Yes, we're well supported, but we've got some worrying configurations in the short term, indicating that the momentum may be declining in front of considerable resistance. It's had a wonderful journey uh, since this May low, but maybe we're approaching uh, the uh, terminal phase of this current advance. It's true, we have on a relative basis, we have an RS ratio, which is above the S&P, but when we look at the MACD, we see a declining MACD as we've got high, higher, high, and a declining MACD. That's a severe loss of momentum. And also in the relative strength index, we've got um, bearish divergence also with lower highs in place in here. These are warnings, look, slowing up before a resistance level. So I have my concerns about this and its ability to keep on motoring in the way it has done since that May low. And um, I think we have to become selective within the select group of technology stocks, <laughs> um, which has driven the whole stock market higher. And uh, a couple of them look as though they're tiring in their advance. Now, finally, uh, we notice that uh, the banking sector, um, which has been the lonely sector uh, for quite a long time, uh, beginning to look a little bit more exciting. And with Goldman Sachs results coming out, maybe it's worth having a look at, at them at uh, Goldman Sachs and that might uh, offer some lead. Here's the situation in the short term for it. We've got resistance at uh, three uh, for it. We've got support really uh, down here at 310. Now, I know that's a wide range, but it is range bound, isn't it? Uh, I've got the RSI, it's uh, steady. That's all you could say about it. The MACD is a bit positive, that's true, but um, it's not, it's moving sideways, it's range bound. It hasn't got a high energy. And compared to the uh, S&P itself, we see um, how it's uh, positioned with the RRG ratio and the momentum um, not really well positioned or interesting. So the indication is that we're range bound, wide range bound here, a little bit steady, um, but really most likely it's not going to be too exciting in the short term. It's uh, 333 is the key level. If we can break through 333, then we uh, could have a clear run at the next resistance, which is at 347.